Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing! Performing? P? <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Eh. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. I wish we could see it. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys... No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. Wasn't it yesterday? Am I thinking of a different day or something? Like, I'm pretty... Because this is day two of sharing poems, right? So... I'm getting confused. I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking over silly lines of dialogue. And I'm just like... I want to move on. <laughs> I want to move the plot along. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings! Being intimate with yourself! Yeah, I think a lot of people who play this game are pretty intimate with themselves. <laughs> shots fired! Shots fired! Bad joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Finding new horizons! and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Yeah, that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh! You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica, this is too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no! 
Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <sighs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. And we don't get to read this poem because they're different from the poems we can access here. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. Th that, that was so good, Monica! I'm trying to match that with her face there. That was so good! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I- I'll go next! Ooh, ah! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Ooh! <laughs> Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It, it's called... After image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts blah. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, I have already fallen asleep. Her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering, her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality, oh, there goes gravity, and glances around her, as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Yeah, Yuri, let's go! Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for, oh, looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach much it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> even crazy liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. 
<laughs> the next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm! <laughs> don't make me go before crazy! It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let crazy lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki... It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'm just realizing that line from Natsuki doesn't really make sense considering we're on her route right now. <laughs> I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the poem. Or maybe she's using that as like a, it's like as a, as a cover, you know? That's very possible. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. You know, we're basically reading a love letter to Natsuki in front of everyone. That, that would be kind of awkward. <laughs> Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Not a lot, but a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. It's almost like a pop song. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I mean, I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. That's not Sayori's voice. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me feel really happy. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ready to go, crazy? <laughs> wait, no! I, I'm lost! What am I doing? <laughs> I've been playing this too long! This recording has gone on for like an hour now, I think. <laughs> Ready to go, Sayori? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at you two, always going home together like that, and <laughs> Zach always fucking screwing up the lines. Damn. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, isn't it? Eh. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, ah. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, crazy. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. 
Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. I said Sayori, not Siri. <laughs> Funny, I, I actually literally say it and it doesn't do it. Interesting. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Eh. Well? No matter whose route I'm on, I always pick this answer. Sayori, do you really think I would ditch you for Natsuki? Eh? But... She's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, crazy. You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen in that time. Alright, and with that, we are going to end the episode here. And I'm going to save here. That's going to be Natsuki's route. Alright. Next time, I am I feel bad for shutting Yuri out that time. So we're going to go to Yuri's route next time. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'll see you next time. Take care.